Oh man, yep. so many reasons to feel good this morning. Absolutely love the football. You and I are going to go through some of those highlights in just a moment. But <laughs> boy, doesn't the world need some good news at yes. the moment? So we're going to get into our feel good news this morning. Hopefully this will shift your perspective a little bit on the world. Dude, absolutely. Mm. Now, a little bit later on, we're going to be talking about, you know, how do you measure success yeah. you know, in your life and relationships? So I, I guess this guy's got it all figured out. So the story is he's an inventor from Uganda, all right? And he won a massive international science prize for an invention that can detect malaria without having to take blood, all right? Wow. Now, this guy, his, his name is Brian Geeter. He's only 24 years old, sure. Graham. He's only 24 years old. <laughs> yes, he, de he designed a special device that shines a, a light into a person's finger, and then it's able to detect changes in the color, the shape, or the concentration of the red blood cells, all of which are affected by malaria. Can you wow. believe it? So it's called Matibabu, which means treatment in Swahili. And uh, he came up with this concept when blood tests failed to diagnose his very own um, malaria at that as well. And he wanted to find a way to test this disease uh, that didn't involve kind of the unsettling going about of, of, of kind of blood taking blood. But um, this prize includes support, funding, mentoring, and business training, as well as a cash prize of £25,000 from the Royal Academy of Engineering in the UK. Wow, man. Dude. And you know that malaria is, without a doubt, the biggest killer Absolutely. on this continent. Dude, it's, it's ridiculous. But the fact that he went out there, he's 24 years old, and he made it happen. So we say, Asante Sana, man. Yeah. Asante <laughs> Sana for your Mati Babu. Yeah. Oh, for, well, from young people changing the world to someone on the different end on that scale, you are never too old to make a difference. Martha Heft, a woman from Florida, She's been sewing since the age of five. She recently sewed and donated 60 dresses out of old pillowcases to an orphanage in Puerto Rico. That was after, of course, Hurricane Maria destroyed the mm. island. Hurricane devastating the region in September last year. Many children left without parents, without homes, with very, very little. So each dress was delivered with a handwritten note containing a message of encouragement like, Sm smile because we love you. And what makes this all truly remarkable is that Martha is... 99 years wow, old. Wow, man, that's 99. amazing. Clearly, she is still going strong, spreading kindness, doing her part to make the world a better place. Man, that's two individuals we can focus on this morning to maybe just get over ourselves and do a little bit more for each other. I love that. Absolutely. Become so focused on our own lives. And these guys, they're out there, they're doing it, and they're making the world love a better it, place, man. literally. Thank you very much, Graham. Um, that's our feel-good news. Hope that's got you inspired to go out there I'm and take smiling, this Monday and smiling. make it your own.